White Minds has a forbidden love story involving interracial dating at a time when it was not only frowned upon, but also dangerous. Why did you include these characters and what can readers take away from their romance? I don't want to give it away. Okay. Um, but not only was it uh, forbidden and dangerous, it was illegal. Um, interracial marriage was illegal in Alabama and most southern states then. And you might find it interesting to know that even though uh, interracial marriage was uh, deemed unconstitutional in the 1960s and 70s, uh, Alabama did not take the law off their books that made interracial marriage illegal until the year 2000. Are you kidding me? No. 2000? Well, welcome to Black Hearts, White Minds. Wow. That's deep. Yeah. I mean, they couldn't enforce it, but it was there. Well, technically they could have, right? No, because the Supreme Court had already ruled it to be unconstitutional oh, to prevent okay. the marriage between races. Okay. Much the same way that the Supreme Court and other courts have held gay marriage today mm -hmm. has, has got to be allowed because to forbid it would be unconstitutional. Gotcha. But we would get into a long discussion about uh, laws versus religion, and you don't want to go there. Okay, well, <laughs> since you're a lawyer, <laughs> right. people can expect to get a little bit more in, into right. the story and understand a little bit more, but without getting too deep into that. Right. Into well, marriage is a legal thing, mm -hmm. not a religious thing gotcha. in, in America. Mm -hmm. now, we, if we want to have the religious kind of marriage, great, you can do that. But if it's going to be a legal thing with benefits, uh, for people, then you can't discriminate and tell certain people they can't get married. All right. Well, all right. Yeah. Attorney Margot, we love it. <laughs> Thank you.